So with the 1.31 patch for Cyberpunk not long dropping, I thought I'd test to bring you guys some of the best glitches that actually still work in the game. So that's what we have today. We have an amazing way to make money, an invincibility glitch, how to play as Johnny Silverhand, infinite crafting and athletics XP, and a couple of others. So let's get into this. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I tested a few famous glitches after the 1.3 patch, uh, which dropped about two weeks back. And I realized that many of these amazing glitches are now patched. They're done. Like the painting and infinite money patch. I mean, it could have been patched a long while back, but because I've just jumped back on Cyberpunk and that was the main patch I installed after playing, I realized I couldn't shoot my painting anymore. There's also a few other glitches and exploits that were taken away. But there are guys, there are still some that do work including the recently discovered easy money method in my opinion right now the best way to make money in this game i did cover this last week but i will mention it at the end of this video as it still works after the latest 1.31 patch so let's get into this guys so as of the 15th of september and after the 1.31 cyberpunk 2077 patch version these glitches still work Okay, so firstly, the one-shot projectile launcher exploit. This basically allows you to one-shot more or less any human enemy. And while there is a slight difference in how this works from when I first discovered it way, way, way back, it does more or less work the exact same. So the footage you are about to see is taken from an older video of me explaining how to do this. The only difference with this right now after the 1.31 patch is there seems to be a slight cooldown but it more or less doesn't make much of a difference. It still one shots more or less everything. So this pairing consists of two items you purchase from River Ducks. Firstly, you need the projectile launch system Cyberware, which is applied to the arms, and you also need Shrank Rounds. Now there are multiple River Ducks, I believe, across the city which sell these, but the one on screen now you can see has the projectile arms, and the second River Duck I go to has the Tranks. Upon buying these, it's as simple as just applying the trank within your inventory to these arms. Now, I do believe to purchase the projectile launch system arms, you need to be at least a level street cred of 20. I might be wrong here, but I do believe this might be the case. Even if you find them or loot them from an enemy, you still need to be a street cred level of 20 to install them at a Ripper Duck. But please correct me if I'm wrong, guys, down below in that comment section, and I'll pin your comments so others can see. But yeah, once you have these applied to your V, you are literally set up to take down anyone with one shot. Now this is bound to your grenade button, and while they are literally infinite, yes you get infinite shots, so you never run out. So yeah guys, just a quick video to help anyone out there struggling with certain enemies of a certain level. Okay, so another glitch which still surprisingly works is the invincibility glitch. And this has been in the game for ages too. And like I said, it more or less means you cannot die. Here's me explaining exactly how you get this done via a side mission, while you also need to take into account if you plan on using this. Yes, using this glitch, you cannot die. Well, I say you can't die. You can die if your car blows up and you're inside it. And I believe drowning might kill you also, but I haven't tested that. But other than that, you are like Superman, as there ain't no kryptonite within Cyberpunk. Well, besides petrol and a spark. So this glitch allows you to be invisible, literally. No PC mods, this works on consoles. So how this is done is pretty easily, and it requires a certain side mission. The side mission is called Sending the Clowns, and it features the legend of Ozop, a dude with a grenade as a nose. It's a mission I covered way, way, way back. 
Now this mission unlocks for you once you complete the main story mission of Transmission. Upon doing this, if you wait 24 hours in game or complete a side mission, any other side mission, it should pop up for you. You should get a text message from Ozop. Now seeing people stay, it takes way longer than that. For me, it was literally straight away, but it does unlock sometime after you complete that transmission. So try using a few fast travel points. If it doesn't pop up for you, just go to each corner of the map. But you then should get a text message from Ozop in which you have to call him. This will then trigger this mission. And during this mission guys, you're prompted to go and pick him up. So you need to head to where you have to go, then honk that horn and he will come out of the building and get into your car. Then guys, you need to take him to near where he wants to go. But before actually getting there, you need to get the attention from the police. So we run over a few civilians. Then while still running them over and getting that police interest, take Oz up to where he needs to be. And here, you need to be surrounded by those police. Now, once he gets out of that car, you wanna spam whatever that button is on your platform to also get out of the car. It won't appear at first, but as soon as Ozob enters that building, it will pop up on your screen. And as soon as it does, you need to get out your car and make a run for it. Running as far away as possible, as quickly as possible. What happens then is you fail the mission. And you know you've done this right when Ozob sends you a text message and it comes up mission failed on your screen. And well guys, that is it. The glitch is then done. And from this point forward, if you create a save, you cannot die to anything besides, I believe, a car exploding with you inside it and maybe drowning like I said I haven't tested that yet but not even full damage will kill you you're invincible to enemy fire and everything else so yeah guys use this while you can if it's of interest to you okay so next up guys we have a glitch which allows you to play as Johnny Silverhand yes this is on console no PC mods here needed at all and it is a glitch uh, CDP I've attempted to patch but it can still get it to work so this takes place, I believe, during the Rally 8th mission after the prologue, during the mission of Never Fade Away. So once you get on with this mission, guys, you have to first sit next to Rogue. The mission will eventually start and then you need to take out all these guards until you get to the lift, as you see me at on the screen now. So once at this lift, call it and then go down and run outside. You want to go to the left and run all the way up to this fence. Then you want to jump over this fence as I do. Then guys, you want to take a right and go up these stairs. If you take any other way, it keeps teleporting you back. So just make sure you turn right. I mean, it will sometimes teleport you back if you do go right, but just keep doing it. And then you'll be free to roam Night City as Johnny Silverhand. I mean, it is as simple as that, guys. I mean, there's not much point in using this glitch unless you just want to mess about or take a few amazing pictures as Johnny. Because you can't progress the story or do anything like that. I mean, you can still drive, you can still kill people, you can still rob things, this, that, and the other. But in terms of progressing, you can't. So yeah, I mean, it's an amazing glitch, but it is at the same time pretty pointless. Okay, so next up, guys, is a recently discovered Infinite Athletics XP glitch. And to do this, guys, it's pretty simple. Remember, your athletics level can only go up as high as your body attribute level, which maxes out at level 20. But to level this up super fast, this is what you need to do. Firstly, make sure you have a melee weapon. It doesn't matter what you have, just make sure you have one equipped. Then you need to have the Berserk operating system equipped too within your Bioware. If you don't have this, you can buy multiple variants from Reprodux across the city. It doesn't matter which version you have, as long as it allows you to go into that Berserk state. Then it's simple. Swing the melee weapon until your stamina is below half. Then what you need to do is activate your Berserk. Then mid-swing of that melee weapon, simply go into your inventory. And well, the glitch is now done, because as long as you stay in these menus and don't unpause the game, you'll constantly earn Athletics XP. And you can see on screen now, it just goes up literally in seconds, guys. So yes, if you want a quick way of leveling up the Athletics stat, this is what you need to do.
Okay, so last of the guys is an easy money method, which also at the same time levels up that crafting stat like crazy. I made a video on this about two weeks back, but because it still works after this patch, I will play the main part of that video explaining exactly how this is done. And you'll see that on screen now. So firstly, this can work at any level, but for it to be the most efficient and for you to earn the most out of this, you will need to be at least a level 18 to 20 technical ability. I will explain after how you can do this without being a level 18 here, but you obviously won't earn as much. So let's go. The reason you need to be a level 18 minimum is because you need to have that edge runner artisan perk unlocked which allows you to craft a legendaries. This is most important here, but to make it even more efficient on yourself, also make sure you have the cost optimization unlocked as well as the X Nihilo. Does that say? I'm not even sure. With these unlocked and selected though, you are good to go. So now you need to go and get a legendary blueprint, the one you will be crafting today. The blueprint is the Ashura Sniper and you get it from where you can see me on the screen right here. Go here, take out these enemies and the main dude is at the top. Once you take him down, you will receive this blueprint. To all NCPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported near intersection of Sequoia and Gray. APB out on Paul Craven. Priors include corporate convoy hijacking. Also a known leader within an NC human trafficking ring. Active affiliations include the Wraiths gang. City authorities have offered a reward for neutralizing the threat. Now you are done here, you now need to head to this vendor junk shop you can see me out on the map right here. This guy is probably the best as he doesn't have any dialogue every time you enter his inventory and also when it comes to skipping time by 24 hours, you can do this right in front of him. So here go into his inventory and buy up all of his legendary item components, epic item components and rare item components. Buy them all. Then leave his inventory and skip time by 24 hours. Again, go back into it and repeat this process until you're either out of cash or get bored. Then what you want to do is head to the nearest drop point machine which is right here on the map. Once you are here people, head into your inventory and over to that crafting tab, select the Ashura Sniper and craft as many of these as you can. They should cost you thanks to that cost optimization, 16 rare components, 16 epic components and 2 legendary components. Like I said, craft as many of these as you can. The great thing about crafting these also is it gives you amazing crafting XP. And while having a level 20 technical ability and a level 20 crafting will mean you can make even more money out of this, which I will explain in a second. But yeah, craft away until you are done. Now back out of your inventory and go into that drop point machine and simply sell the assurers you've just crafted. You should be selling them right now for around €3,246, which when worked out is about 2,678 profit per item you sell. Now when the machine is out of cash, simply skip time by 24 hours and repeat. 
Now this does get miles miles better like I said if you're a level 20 in that crafting because this opens up the perk of crazy science which you can continue spending those perk points into and get even more money per sale of these items. What I did was, I crafted a ton of these snipers, I then reset my perk points and I spent them all into this crazy science. Be warned though, I suggest you make a note of your current build as this obviously resets points spent. And if you want to go back or revert, you will need to remember what you had before. And with me and my total of 67 points spent into that crazy science, I was selling each sniper for 5,713 euro dollars. Now I have been told this crazy science can go up to a level 100 but I haven't seen that yet but that's probably going to see you earning closer to 8 to 9 thousand euro dollars per item you sell which would be crazy. Then when you are done with the selling part and want to repeat the process again you can reset your points and spend them where needed or go back to the build you had before if you have made enough money doing this. And well guys it really is that simple. Now if you ain't a high enough level in that technical ability to unlock the artisan perk which allows you to craft legendaries, you can still use this method of buying components and crafting your highest tiered blueprint, whether that be an epic or even a rare. There is always a profit to be made, it's just higher up those levels obviously you'll earn more money. So if you want to do this but only have up to epic blueprints or even rare blueprints, go to the same vendor, check what the blueprint requires to craft, then just buy them from the vendor. Skip time by 24 hours, buy them again and repeat the process. Then craft as many as you can of said item and then just sell them to a drop point machine. It really is that simple. Remember though if you do this make sure you have the right perks selected which makes things more efficient for you if you can that is. Perks like the cost optimization this will save you materials and is a must. And there we have it guys six amazing glitches that still work after the 1.31 patch. There's probably many many others that still work and if you know of any please let everybody else know down below in that comments section but guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave it a like it really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one